Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette's Syndrome. In today's video, I'm doing a very brief 1,000 subscriber thank you video with a little quick tip on how I redirect my tics. And we have a very special guest, my puppy Daisy is back in a video today. She's currently occupied with a liver chew toy, so she'll be doing her own thing. But I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you so much for all of your continued support on my Taking Together channel. The goal of this channel is to provide viewers like you with education as well as awareness about life with Tourette's syndrome. And I feel like the more of you guys that join and watch my videos, the more awareness we get and the more education I can spread, which means the absolute world to me. It's my biggest passion to provide education and awareness and break the stigma surrounding Tourette's syndrome. And I think with your guys' help, we're really, really getting a head start on that and I'm so grateful. So if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're updated for all my videos that I post. So thank you, I, I don't have words, just thank you. I know it may not seem like a lot, but you guys, a thousand people is so many people that are watching these videos and helping me break the stigma. Hi Daisy. So as promised, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I redirect my tics. You may notice right now, I'm not having a ton of tics, and that's really, really beneficial because tics can be annoying. So I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how I redirect. So as someone who's lived with Tourette's syndrome for over 10 years now, I have kind of learned different ways to deal with it and to cope with having tics. Usually I can suppress and be okay, but there are also ways I redirect to manage. So my first tip is to breathe. I know it sounds ridiculous, because deep breathing is just annoying and people don't always think it helps. But genuinely, when you're in the middle of a tick attack or you are feeling the buildup of a tick, just taking a deep breath and being like, okay. Again, it doesn't always help, but it kind of gets that oxygen to your brain and helps you realize that, where are you going? Where are you going? Hi. So one of the tips I wanted to talk about for redirection is distraction. And my pet puppy Daisy is the best distraction for ticks. Now I'm not saying that everyone can get a pet or everyone can just go and get a puppy, but having something that you genuinely love to be around and just makes you so excited and happy, having that as a distraction, that's a huge way you can redirect your ticks into something positive. So currently I'm feeling urges to jerk my arm but I'm holding her little oxtail bone stick thing. So I can't necessarily jerk my arm because that would be not good. So what I do instead is I redirect by doing a smaller movement. And that's something that I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily know that that is, that is something that you can work on to achieve. <laughs> so what I do is instead of doing a huge, I'll, 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 I'll do an example. Instead of doing a huge this or a huge elbow jerk, I will instead just kind of move my thumb a little bit and it gives me that temporary relief that I can't achieve while being with my puppy because I don't want to elbow her. So instead of doing a big elbow jerk or a big arm jerk, I will just move my thumb and redirect into a smaller movement which gives me temporary satisfaction that I need and I can do the bigger tick later but doing a smaller tick instead of doing a huge grandiose movement is a really cool way to redirect and it's almost like a brain game where you just know like okay I can't have the full tick so let's do a little bit of a smaller movement and just talk yourself through it breathe through it and make sure that you're not panicking because if you panic you're gonna get into the tick so just kind of be mindful know that it's not always the best to just I don't know like I always am one to not encourage suppression but Redirection and suppression are very different in my opinion because I'm still doing a tick, it's just a smaller movement. And so my tip for you is instead of doing a big movement, kind of breathe into a smaller movement. So instead of doing something like this, instead I'll just move my finger. And again, it doesn't get the full satisfaction, but it definitely satisfies the urge for a little bit. So that is my tip for you guys. And again, having a distraction like a puppy is so beneficial. I. I feel like my tics just go away when I'm with her 
or at least I'm able to redirect a lot better because I do have this distraction with me. And that can go for anything too, like distractions such as listening to music or playing guitar or writing or photography or singing or playing video games. Just doing something that you love and distracts you, that can definitely lessen your tics and I would definitely encourage you guys to find your passion, something you love, because it definitely can help satisfy the tick urges and redirect them a little bit better. So I guess those are my points for you guys. I just wanted to make this quick video to thank you guys again for a thousand subscribers. I can't even believe it. I'm so grateful. And my little puppy Daisy is grateful too. Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. So if you guys want to stay tuned to educational content as well as some of my life stories of living with Tourette's syndrome for over 10 years, like I said, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned to all of my videos. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and say hi to Daisy. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you have a pet or what your best methods of redirection are. Because again, suppression and redirection are very different entities. So. Those are my tips. If you want more of my redirection tips, let me know in the comments and I will make another video more detailed on this because this was totally spur of the moment. So let me know. As always, we're learning together, we're laughing together, and we're kicking together. Have a wonderful day and thank you again so much. I can't wait to help spread more awareness and break the stigma with your help.